Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to green and clean beauty. I'm back and I'm starting a top five favorites series. So I've done favorites in the past monthly, now I'm just gonna do my top five. Today I'm primarily focusing on hair, which I usually don't do, because I have had so many struggles finding green and clean non-toxic options and I have finally found a couple of things that have been really helpful. One has nothing to do with green beauty, one's just a tool. I love it and it's very inexpensive. And I also have a little bonus brow product which I'm currently obsessed with. So if you are struggling with swapping out your more toxic for less toxic products, then stick around and uh, yeah, let's dive into the top five. Here we go. Heads up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, Check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. Okay, so this is gonna be a quick rundown of my current top five favorites, mainly hair care plus a brow product because I'm just like going off a little bit. First things first, I have a very expensive dry bar hair dryer. It's like too expensive. I'm not really proud that I bought it for that much money. But it's not Dyson expensive, still. I bought it and it's done It's done me well over the years. It's a very fast drying hair dryer. That said, I just wasn't liking the way that my hair was feeling. It wasn't falling well. It wasn't as shiny as I wanted it to be. I really was thinking, this is it. This is just what happens as you age and you color your hair and you heat treatment and all the rest of it. This is it, it's happening. I guess I have to accept it. No, I don't. So I thought back to what I used when I was in high school. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. And instead of using my big mumbo jumbo, very expensive hair dryer, I got this guy. <laughs> it's like, it's John Frieda Conair and it's a hair drying brush. Obviously I need to clean it, sorry. That's so tacky. I have fine hair. If you have thick hair and a lot of it, this will take you forever. Look away, don't use it. But if you're like me and you have a lot of fine hair, then this could be a nice little option for you to check out. When I use it, I have so much more volume and lift. It's ridiculous. And I think this was maybe $20. So I used the very expensive one to just air dry a little bit. You could just use a towel though. I probably should just start doing that. And I just use this one and I section it off. It does an incredible job. It actually dries it. And I don't know why this is, but when I dry it with this, I don't have to wash it as often. There's so much volume that it doesn't feel as matted down. <laughs> I don't know, I just needed to let you know. I need to let somebody know that this is happening. That's my first pick. That was kind of long, but you know what I mean. The second pick is this new product that is from Cake, and it is from, the company is Reverie, and it's in Santa Clarita, California, so like automatically I'm thinking of the show on Netflix. This is the Restorative Scalp Tonic. So what I started realizing was, I color my hair, I use Madison Reed. It's not perfect, okay? It's not like the perfect non-toxic thing, but I use that. I use a lot of different products. I use Evolve H, which which I'm gonna talk about in a second. While a lot of these things are clean, I was washing my hair the other day and I just sort of like did this thing, you know, where you just sort of like scratch through. It's like, what is that? And it just felt like, not cute, build up. I've never really noticed it. I'm sure it's been there. There's a whole contingent of scalp products for a healthier scalp. I had no idea. So I had a clarifying shampoo that I was using, which was okay, but it was still just, my hair was getting so greasy so quickly. And I use a mask, but I hadn't been using it. Like what's changing? Again, I'm going, this is it, this is it. I mean, you know, I'm getting older and I'm not using the toxic chemicals. So this is what I'm gonna have to contend with. Well, no. I'm not. Now, this is not cheap, but I have used it twice and it takes time. Everybody who reviewed says it takes time. However, I've used it a couple of times. It has a lot of different promises. Hold on, let me get the box. Here it is. La, 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 la. It's carefully handcrafted in California using the finest botanical ingredients from sustainable origins around the world. It soothes and protects the scalp. And what you're supposed to do is while hair is damp, you apply drops of cake, which is the name of the product, to your scalp, massage and leave it in. And it's supposed to just kind of like be a wonder product for your scalp and it's supposed to significantly, after consistent use, help your scalp be healthier, prevent buildup, balance things out, do what it needs to do. I don't know, right? I'm like, listen, I'll try anything at this point. I've used it twice. I do not put drops. <laughs> I put like multiple streams product in my hair and I have seen in two treatment, very different head of hair already. It's nuts. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna keep testing it out. I don't wanna claim this is some kind of snake oil situation because it's pricey. So I'm gonna keep testing this, but I just wanted to put this on your radar cake. Sephora sells it, Reverie is the company. I'm pretty wowed and this is just the beginning, okay? 
we'll see. Okay, so the next products are I'm pretty much on empty and this is huge empties, right? So these are the Evolve shampoo and conditioner. These are amazing. Again, all of the products that I'm showing you, they are not perfect in terms of my rule of three. They have proprietary blends in there. It has like smart scent, I don't know. <laughs> I have to ask some additional questions, but as I've been trying purely natural shampoos, nothing's really worked. This is the one area where I am not fine tuned yet and I'm transitioning from toxic to non-toxic, but I'm not perfect, it's not 100%. I'm gonna be totally honest with you because I always am. These are like the next step. You know, I went from toxic and now I'm just lessening the toxins a little bit by a little bit by a little bit. So these are the next step on that path. This is the Evolve H Ultra Shine Moisture Shampoo Conditioner. Can you tell I like it? They're giant tubs. I've used almost all of it. It's just good. It does make my hair shiny. It doesn't weigh it down. I do believe in the whole mixing up your shampoos and conditioners. So I have a couple of others in there that I try just to mix it up. I've been doing that, but that shampoo and conditioner, amazing. Not cheap again, but you can get sample sizes. So I highly recommend Derm Store, I think, has it, I will put links below for you. Try out samples and see what it does for your hair. There's a bunch of different options. There's the shiny, there's for curly hair. They're growing. Uh, so I have one, two, three, the fourth. I have been looking for hair products like hairspray. Girl, I'm from Dallas, so you know, not originally. Well, yeah, kind of originally, but anyway. I like hairspray. I'm right on the ocean. My hair looks insane. What do I use? I've tried some Josh Rosebrook products. I love Josh Rosebrook. Those products work, but they're not like, I've been doing the new hair dryer that has helped significantly cut down on frizz, but I haven't found the right hairspray that actually works and doesn't make my hair super crunchy. It's really tricky in the green clean beauty space right now to find good hairspray for me at least. If you have one, recommend it. I want to know. In the meantime, I have the Sailor Salt Refresh Hairspray from um, Captain Blankenship. This is in Target and this was gifted to me. I would have never really, it wouldn't have been on my radar, so thank you so much for gifting it, I appreciate it. You did it a while ago. I just use this to freshen up a little bit. It's just a really nice light mist and it doesn't dry my hair out and it calms the frizzies. You know what I mean? It just sort of calms the frizzies. It also does not make it stick down and flat and get oily and greasy. So I'm sure some of the sea salt part of that, it's a refresh hairspray, so it's not really like hold in place, but it's also really nice to put on. And then sometimes I'll use a quick curling iron, not too long, because I don't want to kill my hair, even though it's technically dead. I've tried to find the right protectant. I haven't, but I still, I'm still searching. It holds curl better when I have this spray in there. To me, that's pretty much everything. So I'm very excited about that. The fifth and final product in my top five, my first top five favorites review is from Plume. It is their Plume Nourish and Define Pomade Endless Midnight. That's the color I have this in. No, it's not top of head hair, but it is eyebrow hair and it comes with the brush. I got this on sale at Bella Verite. I have been using the, uh, I've been using the Eye of Oris pencil. I'm very, very picky on brow stuff, guys. Very picky. I don't like it to be too soft looking. I don't like it to be too hard looking. <laughs> It's like a thing. So I've been using this pencil, but it's $25 and you go through it really, really fast. So somebody, thank you, recommended the Bloom Pomade and I was like, I'll try it. It's fantastic. It's not cheap, but it, it will last me so much longer than anything else I have. I use the angle brush, sort of softly press it in. Then I use the spoolie to, you know, set hairs in place, but it also redistributes the product incredibly well. This I use every day every day, without fail, every day. So there you go. It's my little brow bonus on the end, kind of pull this top five video together. That's what I have for hair right now. If you have any recommendations again, or suggestions, I have my shopping tally. It's back on the site, I will put a link below. But I take all of your suggestions, and then every time you vote for something, it moves up on the list, and that's part of the next shopping haul for me. So I'm loving that, keep them coming, and I will add it to that list. If you've tried these and you have different reactions, let us know, because I feel like it's really helpful to have other opinions outside of my own, so it can be a little bit more of an objective space over here. You know, that's it. Those are my five favorites. I will keep you posted on cake. I'll probably put updates back on my Instagram account at the style shaker and you can watch there. I will use this religiously. I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. And these are all really exciting favorites. These aren't just sort of like, it's new, it's fun, I guess. I don't know. These things I am incredibly excited about and either seeing instantaneous results or I have been using them every day and they are a part of my must have. Holy grail, bucket, box. You know what I mean. I love them. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time around right back here. Until then, bye.